So Marcy, what do you think about yeah Korean uh, Boy Scout Jamboree situation in Korea now? You know, I, I heard about the Jamboree for several months and I knew that there would be thousands and thousands of kids and adults there and it sounded like a really exciting time, but I was worried a little bit about the weather because I know it's quite hot in Korea, you know, in the summer. Um, and then the reports we were getting over the past few days, actually I find kind of frightening mm -hmm. that there don't seem to be any contingency plans made um, for... Uh, shelter. I've heard the tents are actually hotter inside than it is outside. They've had to bring in medical staff because they didn't have enough medical staff. There's no place for the kids to cool off. And personally, if I had a child there, I'd, I would pull them out and take them home. I, I wouldn't stay. And, you know, this is not um, typical. Korea has events and festivals all the time. Um, every summer, there are loads, especially of um, uh, music events and there's the Boryang Mud Festival that oh. takes place every year where yes. people get wet and muddy. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not as if this is something that we would see in Korea generally. So I Thank think you. this is very mm -hmm. specific to the organizers of this event. It's just unfortunate. Um, and I know there's been some concern voiced about the uh, the possibility of the World Expo in Busan, oh. but of course that has nothing to do with this. It's totally different organizers. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to be concerned about that. This is just a one-off event. Um, the Boy Scouts should have been more careful in making sure they were coordinating things than mm -hmm. whoever the organizers were in Korea should have taken you know better care mm. to ensure the safety of everybody mm. and um it's just it's a shame it's sad because korea yes. is a great country and it's a fun place to be and now all of these families are going to have negative feelings and they probably won't return mm -hmm. as tourists and you know the kids will grow up thinking oh i you know had a terrible time in korea and so i'm really sorry um mm. for the sake of the country that, that that's the situation Yes, thank you. Uh, but at this point, what is the best thing that we can offer or what do you think we have to do it in Korea? Um, I think in the, sh in the short term, they should just stop the jamboree, send everybody home and, you know, just have it be over. And I think, you know, in a concern long about the like a heat wave and all the disease or something. like Yeah. That. And, you know, we have to pay better attention, I think, to the weather and realize that if, you know, these hot summers are what are going to become the new norm, then huge outdoor events like this um, probably can't happen in this way that they will probably have to have venues where people can go indoors with mm. air conditioning to cool off, where there are showers, where there are working toilets and things like that, and then have outdoor activities that are scheduled in short spurts mm -hmm. so that you're outside, you have some fun, and then you go inside uh -huh. and cool off. And if you want to go back outside, that's fine, but then you go back inside to cool off. Mm -hmm. And I think this is, you know, this is going to be a lesson that the Koreans are going to learn. I, I don't think this is um, something where we have to worry that, oh, this is going to happen in Korea all the time. But in the short term, I would just, I would cancel the jamboree and issue refunds for everybody. And whoever the organizers are will have to bear the loss. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, everybody just has to remember this is not the fault of the country. This is the fault of the organizers. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your interview. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely.